Tara, come on. Come on, come on. Let's get up. Get up. Get up. Good girl. Such a good girl. Okay, summertime solution. Summertime. I have been using, well, it's called Windsaw. Windsaw Super Slip lately. And it's really, really nice, but I ripped off the directions. So I don't know the recommended amount. So I've been doing for, what is that? Around three gallons of water, I've been doing a cap pull. Beep, beep. And I actually switched back to just regular Dawn soap because I couldn't find the heavy duty. So Dawn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's it. And that's my summertime solution. If you want to be fancy, you can put in a little, little drip of glass clean. Ooh. Boom. That might be too much stuff, but that's my summertime solution. Let's go. Breakfast of champions. Egg McMuffin and a little bit of Monster. I've actually stopped drinking Monsters until today. Um, and I feel a lot better. Today is going to be 94. But tomorrow it's going to be 102. And it's pretty much in the 90s for most of the next week. But really here in Colorado we have like a dry hot. So if it's not humid, it's really not that bad as far as like people in the south and stuff that deal with a lot more humidity. So it's really not that bad. But uh, it's going to take you guys through the day. And we got a lot of different things. There. We got bid. We got a tiny, tiny home outside only. A few other things there they want me to do. I'm not sure what. That will be the end of the day. And then we're going to take care of most of the usual suspects uh, for most of the morning. We got one restaurant that will be back today for the first time since March. Overall, everything going good. I think we're right on target of what we were doing last year, which is good. So for what for what it is, I think growth is hard this year. Uh, but I've seen a lot of new companies. I talked to a lot of new companies and a lot of people are actually doing good. Um, they've made their companies this year and have figured it out even with everything going on. So time to eat breakfast and we'll just get going with the day. And that super slip, man. Oh, that super slip is the best summer solution. Serious. Check out this cool car. She approached me about using my late great. The hell is that? Not only you die in one of those things. Oh my god. gonna tell you guys oh let me show you this real quickly so what I was showing you guys there so those garage doors this is what my mop looks like every time that's cleaned a little bit it just gets solid black but uh handy sleeve man I've been using this all the time lately this has become my main detail tool on my pole and I've just been having these microfiber rags that I picked up at the rag company and I just sit it right here in the back and when I do pole work I just put that there, boom. Detail frames, everything. It's actually taking the place of a lot of the reasons I use the big towel. But I still carry the big towel with me, so. But yeah, I usually leave like one towel a day on here and that's, uh, that's about it. But I found many, many more uses for it like over time.
I have to say one of the big things that I've been uh, noticing lately is that restaurants right now, because they're not really using the seating that uh, it's harder to do. Whoa, oh, it's harder to do inside and out of them because they have crap everywhere in front of the windows. It's kind of like, do you want us to do outside only? You want us to do inside out? But they want us to do inside out. And it's like half of these jobs, you can't even do half of the inside. It's a waste of time and question the price and all that good stuff. But I've just been doing what I can, charging them full price or charging 10 bucks less if like two windows are missed, but I've noticed that a lot. I need to clean. It's gonna be quick. One more window there. What's up there? Hello? Window cleaner? Window cleaner? I just have to clean the outside of these. Of course, they're these fun type of screens. Too bad though. These screens. <laughs> the grid is only on the inside. Perfect. Oh. He also said that this window won't stay up. I concur. Window out. As usual, someone has put the screens in wrong. As always, they're actually upside down. So, go get a putty knife. So, usually, these I think should be the other way. And then, this would actually fit nicely in here. So all I'm going to do with these is actually clean these from the inside, even though it'd be... Oh no. They do have the grids. Darn it. They do. Sons of guns. Okay. Get these screens out. Oh, watch that. See, in this one, this one's not going to come out as easy, right? So we're going to have to just see that. That screen only comes out from the inside. Guarantee. These are super old. These are the fun parts of windows. What should be the most simple job. It's now gonna turn into a fun job because of some dumb screens. Oh man, these things are just not well put together here. Look at this shit. This is what you get when people try to do everything themselves. A little shit storm here. So, this 
So the customer said to me, um, the window is not opening. Look at this little grid piece got, got wedged somehow and was blocking the uh, window from open. Open, but that thing is not working good. Look at this. I mean, this is like, just how easy it is sometimes. And now, oh, it opens. There's windows that are a wreck. And then they expect you to put everything back together and make it look good. Try the big daddy. Okay, try the big eliminator. Oh my god, it's a 40 inch 48 inch eliminator from Sorbo. Give this a go. I'm not very good at it yet. I'm still learning a lot how to use this guy. It's pretty hard. construction bid to do check out this construction clean I'll show you pictures little easy windows there some inside windows there oh yeah we just need to do inside of this and then I gotta get that elevator tower done Probably just water fed pull it. But we've had a good day. It's been a good day. I got one more job, then I got a bid, and we're all done. So I'll stop this here. I won't make you guys go on with this any longer. But that is my summer 2020 vlog. Windsaw Super Slip. Great summer, great summer solution. That and Don Soap hits it out of the park, man. So thank you, uh, Pat Slifka. He was the one that uh, told me he uses that. And I was like, all right, I got to use this. I got to try it out. Used it. Loved it. So one more job here, a bid, then I'm done. Um, can't really think of much else, but finish this job here. Oh, the Sorbo Eliminator. Yeah, the Sorbo. Uh, man, this squeegee is crazy. I bought that a couple weeks ago and I'm trying to get used to it. It takes a while, but I'm starting to kind of figure it out. Uh, but I'll be having a video out on that and also a video on the Sorbo scraper. I've been using that a lot lately too. And actually that is a fine, fine scraper. May not be the prettiest looking scraper, but my gosh, man, the blade on that, the way it flexes, it's like butter. It's like cutting through butter. 
But anyway, guys, I won't uh, bore you anymore today. And um, you all have a good one. And we'll talk soon. Bye-bye. That's how you make a dramatic ending to a video.